Welcome to Balance and Purpose Healing. I'm often asked by potential clients, what is a shaman and what happens during a shamanic healing? Well, shamans have been around for thousands of years in all the indigenous tribes across the world. They've been the doctors, the healers in the tribes. But as well as dealing with physical illness, the distinguishing skill of a shaman is to be able to work outside physical space and time, to see the energy body and any blockages within it, to work in the spirit world with the ancestors, to access the soul and its past lives, as well as the physical body in the present life. In my work today, people who come for shamanic healing have often tried many things already, including psychotherapy and antidepressants. Despite all the work that they've done, they feel blocked, stuck. There's a repeating pattern that goes around and around. To me, that usually represents a limiting belief, something that we've been told or taught that we continue to believe and which therefore influences and manifests in our lives. The shadow work is never to re-traumatise. It's to acknowledge the wounds, see if there are any gifts or lessons from them, then reintegrate them or release them, whatever is appropriate. The amazing thing is that when we work really deep in the energy field in this way, things happen very quickly and the intention is always to allow the client to see that they do have choice to step into their potential, their magnificence, to be co-creators of their own destiny. One of my favourite pieces of work, because it can be so life-changing, is soul retrieval. In this process, either I lead the client on a meditative journey or I journey on their behalf. We visit the cave of the original wound, the cave of the contract made at the time of the wounding, the cave of the lost soul part and the cave of gifts. What qualities would be helpful in our lives right now? On the way back from the journey, we invite in a power creature. And after the journey, the client visits and works with all the elements that have been seen. The main intention is to rewrite the contract from this day forward. Not because the old contract was wrong in any way. We wrote it at the time in the past when it was necessary to protect ourselves. But it may no longer serve us today. The second intention is to reunite the lost soul part, which was split off for its own protection. Sometimes people recognise this part but are not ready to bring it back in. And sometimes they would like it back, but it asks that they change their behaviour first to demonstrate that it's now safe for it to come back. In these cases, a follow-up session at a later date is usually necessary. I personally don't believe I could be doing the work that I am doing today openly and without fear, if I had not rewritten an old contract that I made in a past life to conform with authority. At the same time, I brought back my healer, which had been repressed for many generations out of fear and out of a desire to protect myself and my family. Other work includes talking to the ancestors who have already transitioned from their physical bodies, finding out what gifts or messages they would like us to have removing entities which have energetically attached to a client, taking out psychic daggers which may have been intentionally or unintentionally sent to hurt clients. And there's also an amazing seven chakra cleansing process for people who are going through a time of total change and transformation in their lives. That process is death and rebirth within life. We start with a life review, calling in all those that need to be spoken to if we're about to die. We call up all the shadows and the heavy energy, release them, then detach the aura for cleansing before bringing it back down into the physical body and refocusing on rebirth, the way that the client wishes to manifest in this body at this time in this lifetime from this moment onwards. Every one of these processes and sessions is very different. Clients sometimes ask how they're going to feel after the session. I never know in advance. You may leave feeling totally elated, energised and ready to dance with joy. Or you may leave feeling drained, exhausted, ready to sleep for a couple of days. Everyone's life experience is different. So what happens in the healing space is always different. What I do know is that these experiences are life-changing and client testimonials to that effect are available on my website. It's also interesting for me that modern psychotherapy is gradually rediscovering and relabeling many of the ancient shamanic healing practices. The lineage work that I do has enormous parallels in family constellations. 
The soul retrieval work has parallels in subpersonality, primal wounding and splitting approaches to therapy. I invite you to leap off the cliff and trust that you can fly. Everything that emerges in the space we work is welcome. It's here to be seen, to be heard, to be acknowledged, to be healed. As Alberto Valalda, one of my master teachers says, live like an eagle, not like a chicken. To you who are known by a thousand names and you who are the unnameable one, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to sing the song of life another day in this body, on this beautiful planet, at this amazing time of healing and transformation. Thank you.